I'm Dan Winter. I'm pleased and enthusiastic to present with Giselle Coy, Coy and the family from Conscious Media Festival, ConsciousMediaFestival.com, at their exciting event coming up on March 3, 2018, ConsciousMediaFestival.com. And the subject is uh, dear to my heart. We're going to be talking about the, the science, the engineering of enlightenment, the actual process of achieving enlightenment understood in technical and scientific terms in a way that enables us to do it in a self-empowering way. So what I'm going to be talking about is our technology uh, flameinmind.com in the way we measure enlightenment, bliss, ecstatic experience very accurately using this flameinmind.com technology. Very simple uh, Muse headset that fits simply on your head, as they say, easier to wear, put on than sunglasses. And uh, in that process, you're able to measure the brainwave recipe of, of bliss and enlightenment and ecstasy very simply and easily in a playful and yet empowering way. For example, we have in front of us here, uh, I was having a blissful morning one morning, and indeed at that moment, you see I had one, two, three, four, five harmonics in golden mean ratio in my brain waves. Notice this is the alpha here, the right left hemisphere alpha balance. And so that the amount of alpha and the frequency alpha are balanced. So that means the right left hemispheres are aligned and entrained. And further, when you have that cascade between beta, alpha, theta, and delta here, you have the golden mean ratio allowing charge implosion uh, compress, compression of charge, literally a fractal field.com, which is <laughs> our website as well. So the fractal field permits the implosion of charge, which actually is the process of generating the centripetal force electrically. So you implode charge before you radiate, and that literally then radiates what's called enlightenment. There's all kinds of powerful things we can do to to work toward enlightenment, to do it in a scientific way. We understand, for example, there are environments that make enlightenment possible, like the Bodhi tree and other environments which prevent enlightenment, like metal buildings and dead air. And we understand the capacitive reasons for that. The diet, the lifestyle, the hydrogen, the hygiene, the measurement, all of these things contribute to an engineering science of enlightenment. And in the process, we don't collapse the beauty, the richness, the magic uh, of the enlightenment spirituality. No, we increase the beauty and power and subtlety of the spiritual experience by understanding it in a scientific way. And since my background is electrical engineering and half of my life has been devoted to the engineering of enlightenment, I'm very excited to be speaking, speaking with Giselle's partners and friends for this uh, enlightenment conference. Uh, so I'm glad to be with you. I'll be speaking in virtual video. We'll answer questions. I'll be part of the process, and uh, I hope to see you there. Thanks very much. Thanks, Giselle, and see you in March. Bye-bye.